you guys can just scroll through this really quickly and check out what you need to check out but that's my graphic settings move over into post effects and there's my post effects and here are my sound settings okay so i'm going to go over my greed and svm settings for spt 3.9.8 i do believe and i used ghost phoenix's personal settings and then I alter them into my own. So we're on my no name because I didn't feel like naming it. So we're going to go through this. This is items and inventory. The only thing I have done here is change ammo stacks to 90. And currency stacks, which is now 5 million, I do believe. And 500,000 on the rest and 50 on GP coins. And I removed can't be dropped in raid tag and removed secure container filters. It's just the way I had it last time. So I felt like I'd do that the same there. And then the time to reload and unload, which is amazing, by the way, is 0.25%. So it's going to be way, way faster. Obviously, the higher the number, the, the slower it is, and the smaller the value, the faster it is. And I tried 50%, but it just didn't seem fast enough. And then I tried 45, and it still wasn't quite there. Then 35 was almost there, so I was like, okay, let's just bump it down to 25. Then we go to my hideout here. I don't think I did anything here except for change some times i think these were all changed i think that's the only thing i have done here so i'm going to re reduce all these so you don't get confused but that is the settings for my multipliers there i think that was similar to what i had before and similar to uh ghost phoenix's personal s settings we go down to traders here, and the only thing I've done here is remove timer for new quests and remove all trade limits. That means how many items you can buy per stock kind of thing. Traders and services, unlock each side's apparel, remove level and standing requirements from offers, and all the offers are free. Now this is just clothing. So the only thing I did that for is just the clothing, and I figured it's clothing, it makes no sense to make it paid for, it doesn't do me anything, it doesn't give me any benefits, so... I was just like, okay, let's make it free. Then I go down to insurance. I changed the lifespan in hours to 720. Now, I did that because there's a chance that I could go a whole week without even opening up SPT. And I usually record it on weekends. So that whole entire week, I don't open it. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. So I figured the 720 hours would give me plenty of time and I wouldn't miss the insurance. So that's insurance from traders and services. Now we go down to loot. And I tried to copy what I had last season, but I don't remember the numbers exactly. So I slightly bumped things up. Not much. Uh, I made everything basically 25% except for some zones. Ground Zero, Streets of Tarkov, Reserve, and Customs are down to 10. Uh, I think that's about it on the airdrops. I didn't touch these, so we can close those down. Okay, in raid settings here, the only thing I have changed is under extracts settings. I changed no co-op exits restrictions to on and make co-op extracts paid extracts. That's similar to what we had in last season, so I kind of kept that the same there. Okay, so I have flea market enabled right here, but the only reason I had that I think is because Ghost Phoenix personal was set that way. I don't know if you can even see this, can you? No, it doesn't look like you can, but... There's a drop-down menu here, and it's got Ghost Phoenix's personal preset. And I think Flea Market was already enabled there, but I didn't really do anything with it. I haven't changed anything. I don't know why Enable Fees is on. I guess it's default, but... Anyway, repeatable quests. Uh, I think the only thing I've done here is make the amount of quests per cycle. I think that's it. I don't think I've changed anything else. Scav quests, didn't touch it. Weekly quests... Don't think I've touched that either. Uh, the daily quest is the only thing I've done. Now, if if I miss something, at least you can see these and compare them to yours. So I think that's it, but these might have changed too. I can't quite remember. A skip case space manager. I could have made things bigger here, but I didn't see the point. Player scav, not going to use it, so it doesn't matter. And scav bosses, uh, obviously I have adjusted these things slightly. Uh, rogues are 70%. I felt like that was a decent number for rogues. Uh, I'm actually going to change this to 35 because my OCD doesn't like 7. Uh, the cultists and goons. The goons, I dropped down to 25% on everything. AI PMCs, uh, lootable melee weapons, because I wanted to loot them last season and I couldn't. 
and I changed the scav percentage. I think it was 30 and I bumped it up to 35%. So when a scav spawns, it's got 35% to change into a PMC. And other than that, I have added in our members down here. And these are our members. So you've got a chance to spawn as a PMC. I have also cut down the amount of players, but I'm actually going to reduce that again because that seems still kind of a bit high. <laughs> so hopefully it increases our chance to get our members to pop up more. Other than that, I think that's it. I think that's all that I've done. So I'm going to move over and show you guys our list of mods and we'll go from there. Okay, we're in our mods folder. I'm just going to go down the list here. So our first mod here is algorithmic level progression. Now this makes it so bots level with the player in a sense where I won't have like a level 50 fighting a level 1. And they won't be super geared out. So they should have the same type of gear that I have. And as I level, they'll also level with me. And they'll get better gear as I get better gear. I think that's going to make things pretty balanced. So I don't run into a chad, if you'd call it. And I, I don't have to fight like a crazy decked out guy that's level 50 when I'm level 1. Second mod here is Painter. Now that's a trader. And uh, he'll sell you unique weapons and gear, as well as painted weapons. To go along with Painter, I grabbed White Core, which will give me some white versions of gun parts and stuff, so I can make a whole gun that's just white. Next mod here is Bloody Bullet Wounds, that just basically adds a ton more of blood when you shoot somebody. So we have Questing Bots here, that is new for Season 3. And it's basically adding where bots will be able to actually do quests too. So if I go to a spot on Shoreline, for example, where you have to place something at the boat, we also might run into some PMCs down there just doing the exact same quest, which should be interesting. So next we have Live Flea Prices. Uh, this updates every single hour as long as SPT server is running, and that pulls directly from EFT Live. So we should have up-to-date... Uh, flea prices. Even if it's even if uh, EFT updates, I do believe it should still pull the live live flea prices. All right. So next is Epic Range Time Weapons. Now this is a completely different name on the website, but it's called Epics All in One. Uh, basically, adds just a bunch of weapons and weapon parts. Next we have Expanded Task Text. Now this just gives me more information based on uh, the task. So if I click on the task in the description, it should tell me, you know, if I need a key or something like that. Next is Gunsmith. Now, I picked this up. This is new for Season 3. I picked this up because in Season 2 and Season 1, I would manually build Gunsmith's guns that he needed for his tasks. And instead, this season, I'm going to make it so I can just purchase them pre-built, and I don't have to build them myself. That will save me some time. Next is Gilded Key Storage. We used this last season, partly way through last season. Uh, it just makes keys better. Better storage for keys. And unlimited uses for keys. More check marks. It's just a check mark on the item that you have. And it'll tell you if it's a quest item, a barter, or for a craft. Next is tactical gear component. Uh, it just adds more unique gear and attachments. Next is item info. It is really handy in terms of showing what sells for what price to who. So if I have an item that I need to sell to therapist and I was about to sell it to peacekeeper and then i click on the item info information and it'll tell me that i probably should have sold that to therapist so it's very handy next we have dynamic weather and seasons now this is new for season three but every raid should be a different season now i'm not going to turn on dynamic weather because for youtube purposes i want to keep everything nice and clean so you guys can see and hear everything now we have server value modifier or svm for short and we just went over all that information on greed, which is inside server value modifier, on what we use this season. Next is looting bots. Basically, bots just run around and loot. So next we have swag, and that's just basically dynamic spawns. And now there's a caveat to this, because I also added in unicorn, which adds like a thousand and something extra spawns. So our raids could get very, very interesting. So next we have UI fixes, and this is new for season three, and I highly, highly recommend picking this mod up. It is unreal how good this mod is i'm gonna go over a couple of things but i'm not gonna list everything because it's just a giant list if you want to go check those out make sure you go to the mods page and read through it but some of the ones that i'm probably going to use most are swapping items in place so you can drag one item over another to swap their locations that is that is just perfection 
There's another thing in here where you shift click sort button to keep containers where they're located at, which is going to be great in my stash where I want to keep all my containers at the top. You can also multi-select where you like drag and you can select a whole inventory and then you can just move them all in one go. That is going to be amazing when we get to the point where we get a bunch of stuff in my bag and I just want to move everything over into my stash where I can just sell it. So I think that's going to be awesome. I think there's, there's a whole ton of stuff in there, but I'm not going to go over all of it. Again, just go read the mod page. It's fantastic. Up next, we have Sane, which, you know, Sane. <laughs> Makes bots harder. We'll be at the hardest setting at some point when we get to a higher level, but we're going to start with default, and then there's a think default with harder PMCs, and then it's like I like pain, and then it's like death wish or something like that. So we'll get to death wish at some point. It's just going to take us a while, because I think I'm going to go every 20 levels, so that would be what, level 80? <laughs> That's high up there. I might do every 10, so it'd be 40. We'll see. So this is all our mods in the mod section. Now there's mods that won't show up here, but I'm going to put those in a list you'll see right here. And we'll go over those just now, but it's going to be a Mon Sense. Now, Mon Sense is where I double tap F and everything lights up in terms of loot. Now, I've changed everything in game to everything being white. So I don't know what's what other than the name that'll appear above it, and it's in a color white. That's it. So I, I don't know if it's super rare or not until I find it. Now, if it's in the bag, it won't tell me what it is in there. It's just going to show as a bag. And uh, yeah, it's just going to be a white color. Next, we have Time and Weather Changer. That's just a mod that allows me to change the weather and the time, obviously, as the name suggests. That's so we can keep things nice and clean for YouTube purposes so you guys can hear and see things. Next is Amon's Graphics. It just changes the graphics a little bit better so it's more clear and colorful. Next thing we have is Game Panel HUD. Everybody always asks for this one. It is the compass at the bottom, and it shows, like, hit markers and the extractions and all that kind of stuff on the compass. It's very handy. Okay, so next up is That's Lit, and it basically just makes it so bots have a harder time seeing you in certain situations, like behind a bush, or in at the night, or, you know, in shadows, that kind of stuff. So it makes it where bots don't have perfect vision. Up next, we have Dynamic Maps. That's where you press M on your keyboard, or whatever key you bind it to. And, uh, yeah, it just brings up a map on your screen, and it shows you extracts and, like, um, previous kills, or your bag if you drop it, stuff like that. Next, I have Load Order Editor. That is very handy for editing the load order of your mods. Also got a mod called Auto Deposit. It gives you a little button on your inventory, and if if it's got an item in your stash in a box or a bag or something, and you hit the Auto Deposit button, it'll store all of what you have in your inventory into those stash items, such as your bag or your ammo case, if it's already got that item in it. Okay, up next we have Munitions Expert, which basically gives you hidden attributes of ammo with some custom background colors and stuff. So you can see, like, ricochet chance, the fragment chance, the armor damage, penetration power, all that kind of stuff on the description list of the ammo. Then I have Stash Search. It's basically what the name suggests. You can search your stash. There's also a mod called Loot Radius. Uh, it's just a, a radius around the player where you can see loot on the floor when you hit your tab button. And it just pops up a menu and it shows all the loot that's on the floor so you don't have to search for it if it's down there and you can't see it. Sadly, it doesn't affect the stuff that spawns underneath the floor, though. I, I wish it did. Now there's mods that you're going to need to get for specific mods to, for them to work, but I'm not going to go over that. You guys can see those on the mods page when you go download them. So I'm going to go over my donuts configuration here. I'm not going to go through everything. I'm just going to go through each tab here and you guys can check it out. But obviously, we're going to go with starting PMCs only live like... That's what we did last season, so we're going to stick to that. Uh, everything else I think I left the same. Same with spawn frequency. If I didn't, then you guys can check it out right here and at least compare to what you have. Same with bot attributes. Spawn settings. I think I have adjusted the minimum distance to player settings, but I can't remember. Uh, but again, you guys can check that out there. Same with global minimum distance to other bot settings. I think I left that alone. Go over to advanced settings. I uh, don't think I've changed anything here. Obviously, Spawn Point Maker didn't touch, and Debugging I have not touched either. So that is my Donuts configuration. Now we go over to Sane. We are on 3.1.0 for Sane. I am now on the default with some slight modifications. I can't remember what I modified, but we're going to go through everything here. You guys can just pause and take a look at everything. In general, I don't think I've touched anything here. I think everything is still good. On this section, I don't think I have changed a single thing here.
Go over to aiming. And with hearing, I don't know why it says modified when I don't even think I've changed anything. I have not touched anything in the locations. Same with the look. Nothing there. Mind, haven't touched anything there. Same with the shoot. And talk, nothing new there. And squad talk, nothing new there either. Over to our bot settings, nothing's changed here. Same stuff. Same with personality, nothing new there. Equipment uh, stealth, nothing new there. And advanced options, nothing new there either. I think that would be it, but I will go through our Mons graphics if I can find it in here, right there. Just so you guys can see what I've done here. Don't think I have touched anything there. So that's that. Looting bots, if I can find it right there. I have only turned on the enable container line of sight check. So they have to see certain things in line of sight before they'll go pick it up. And I've also adjusted the corpse and container distances and item distances to 50. I think they were at 75 beforehand. So I think that's all I have changed. Nothing else has changed other than since, which again, here you go. Everything is white except for you. Why are you not changed? There you go. Everything is white. Nothing's changed other than that. So that's going to be all my mods. Uh, this video is going to drop right before Season 3, Episode 1 starts. So you stick around and make sure you check out that video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you head down, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. I'll catch you guys in Season 3, Episode 1.